Get the full spa treatment at AA Salon. Our goal is to make you look your best. We're open Monday through Saturday, and walk-ins are always welcome at AA Salon, located at 921 South Highway 160. Call 775-764-1898. Hi, I'm Sally Kerr, running for commissioner. I am in District 2 and have been a resident of Pahrump for 22 years. I have children and grandchildren here, and my motivation for running is to really just uh, make sure that our community is sound um, for my grandkids as they uh, raise their families and uh, move into careers. I want them to have stable jobs and good education, and so um, it's important to me having been here for so long that we really think about all of the pieces are of our community that can come together the county should be working with the nonprofits we should be working with the um, businesses in our communities that really already serve us and so let's not reinvent wheels let's work together um, to manage our resources I think we need to be talking about uh, managed growth in Pahrump and Nye County I think we need to um, be sure that we have uh, clear ideas about our water resources. Um, I think that we need to make opening a business in Pahrump and Nye County easier to manage. And so um, really want to be able to impact that for people um, by making those things more streamlined and um, more just more effective for the people that we're serving. Most of the north end of town are the bigger properties that do have well. So while there are certainly pockets of development that have, I think, like desert water, there are a few in there that developments that are on well are, are on um, managed utilities. But for the most part, the north end of town is where you've got the acre and a quarter and above properties that do have their own wells. So when you're thinking about the north end, um, District 2, even into some parts of District 1, uh, there is a definite rural environment that want, we want to maintain. And um, I think that most of that, we're not in a place on the north end where there's going to be a lot of available land to even subdivide. Some of that now is literally not going to be smaller than even five acres, uh, and some of it 10 even. Um, so I think that you would see most of the um, kind of the development that's going to be more like de housing developments are not going to typically happen on that north side and we need to be sure that that's the case and we need to be sure that those properties aren't subdeveloped uh, below where we want them to be to maintain a rural environment. I mean typically a, develop a developer is going to have a, a development agreement. There's no one here that's not going to have if they're doing developing more than just a single family residence, they're going to have to have a development agreement with the county that would tell them what the limit are, the number of homes, how big or small those um, lots can be, how the water is going to be managed. Um, I know that one of the things we face is, a, is some of development agreements that are older in age and really should have either aged out or they've been um, um, redone and so we're we're going to be held accountable for those some of our present predecessors have approved development agreements that are going to um, we're going to have to manage and we're going to have to maybe negotiate with some developers about how we're going to manage that and it might the county doesn't get to just take people's land for free so we're going to have to be able to figure out how is that negotiation happen that we keep lots larger in size and still um, allow development. We don't want people to not come, but we want it to be managed in a way that really does take, keep in mind what our ultimately what our resources are. I think there's finally some um, good water studies that are going to be able to tell us what our actual recharge weight is and how quickly we, we're I'm going to go through water and I think we need to be sure that that happens and that those are um, you know scientific well done water studies that really give us an accurate idea of how much water we have how big can our growth be um, and and how we manage that so that the valley um, always has water because what we don't want are people to be living in homes that have to have water trucked in from somewhere else and the, the water issue is across Nevada there's not going to be somebody regionally who's going to be able to come in and save us with water issues I am honored to be a candidate for district 2 and I look forward to representing you on our commission